Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Jill from GoEnglishCoach.com. Today I want to talk to you about um, a pronunciation issue that some of my students have, actually many of my students have, even advanced students I've heard this problem, and that is past tense word endings. So the problem is, is that in, in past tense we use ed to indicate a regular past tense verb. So here's some examples. In the present tense, we have wash, need, and save. When we move over to the past tense, these change and we add an ed ending. So wash changes to washed, need, needed, save, saved. Now, if you listen to all of those different endings, they all sound a little bit different washed, washed. So we're not saying wash it, it's washed. That final sound here is a T sound, washed. Needed, needed. This is an id sound, needed. And the last one is saved, saved. So we've got a T, t sound, id, needed, id sound at the end here, and saved. So it's not saved, it's saved. The next question is, how do I know how to pronounce the sound at the end? Well, there is a rule to help you to know which sound you're using. If you're going to use the t, t sound, the id sound, or just d. Let me show you that rule, and then we'll practice some together. All right, guys, here are your rules for pronouncing the ED endings in the past tense. Number one, in verbs that end with a voiceless sound, we pronounce the ED as a T sound. So this is the key, voiceless. What does that mean? Voiceless means that there is no vibration right here. That's your easiest way you can tell if a sound is voiceless or voiced. So the example that we used before was wash. Your final sound on that word, wash, is the sh, the sh sound in English. If you hold your hand here and say wash, there's no vibration here. There's no movement. It's only air coming out of your mouth. That means it's voiceless. Therefore, we're going to use this, the T sound, washed, okay? Next, we have in verbs that end with a voiced sound, a voiced sound, we pronounce the ED as a D. So the example that we had previously, our previous example was save. Now the final sound here is this V sound, not the E, right? Save, that's how we pronounce that word. If you hold your hand here and make that final sound for the V sound, there is vibration here. And that means that it's a voiced sound. So then we're going to use this D sound, saved, saved. Okay, the last rule, you guys. In verbs that end with a T or a D sound, we're going to pronounce that, that ED sound with id. So we've got a little extra sound here, id, id. So in the example, this final sound on that word need, the final sound is a d. So because it's a d, we're going to pronounce the ed needed, needed. And this little extra sound here is just a little i, i. So needed needed is the pronunciation when it ends with a t or a d all right so try this out you guys try it and listen when you're listening to english try to pay attention to some of those words it really just requires some practice all right good job for today you guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i have a lot of more great ideas that i'm going to be putting out in the next couple of weeks so I hope to see you back here. Also, please comment on other problems that you're having in English. 
I would love to help you out. All right, have a great day. You can also check out my website at goenglishcoach.com and I have a pronunciation class that I can help you specifically with your problems that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that too. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for paying attention and checking in.